Okay, so as you can see, we've moved outside because obviously we're going to be working with paint. Um, if you're going to do it indoors, you need to have a lot of ventilation, and it's usually just a better idea just to go outside. Um, for this application, we're going to use a spray can. Uh, an easier way to do it, and in a lot more detail, is to actually have an airbrush. Um, if you don't have access to one of those, a spray can will work fine. Just one, one thing to remember with a spray can is you want to make sure you mix the can really well and you want to spray in light, even coats. If you put it on too heavy, what's going to happen is the paint's going to bleed into the tape and it's going to mess up your entire paint job. So I've already shaken this can. This is the black that we're starting with. We're going to go ahead and just start applying a thin coat to the inside of the body. As you can see, it doesn't take much to start getting the coat going. That's about all you need for the first one. You're going to let that dry and tack up then you can apply another layer. All right, so as you can see, we've layered the black. It took about three to four layers, thin coats. It's all dry. We removed the bottom portion, which we predetermined was going to be red colored. As you can see, I started already painting the red. Uh, nice thin layer, letting it dry. I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple more coats, and then we'll move on to removing the center section to uh, spray the white. Okay, so we're still applying a couple thin coats here. Just getting a little bit of buildup going. After each layer, you gotta let it sit and dry. A tip, if you wanna speed up the drying process, you can actually use a hair dryer or a heat gun. You just wanna make sure that you're not too close to the body where you're heating the tape and it's starting to peel back. And you also don't wanna damage the Lex hand. Okay, so as you can see, Went ahead, we finished all of our coats of the red. We removed our center section, which is going to be painted white. And uh, keep in mind, you can use any color paint you want as long as it's polycarbonate safe, you'll be fine, you won't have anything to worry about. So, we're going to do the same thing with the white, just get a couple nice, even layers going in there. It'll cover all this up, it'll act as a backer for our red. Again, nice and even, not too much at first. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry, give it a couple more coats. After that, we're gonna go ahead and remove the grill section, which we've masked out to paint the grill. We're gonna paint that with a little bit of chrome in a can. Body will be complete, and then the next step, we're gonna move on, we're gonna show you guys how to cut them out and properly mount them. All right, so as you can see, we've finished our body. Uh, we went ahead and sprayed the grill with our chrome. Uh, we've removed the window mask and the protective film that was over the body. Um, it's going to be very important to remove that film before you start applying your decals. Otherwise, when you go to pull it off, all your decals are going to go off with the protective film. So uh, that's about it. The main thing to remember when painting the body is you want to take your time, use a little patience, and then uh, obviously you'll have a paint job that you love. And then uh, until the next time, we'll see you guys later.